So thank you, Vairok, again for giving me this opportunity. And uh, the treatment of any non-union should be pretty obvious. You have to achieve union, right? There's no rocket science in that. But most of us would like to leave the non-union of the lateral condyle alone because of two reasons. You're worried that you're going to cause restriction of motion. It's an intra-articular fracture. And if you dissect badly or too much, you're going to cause EVN. And we then pass off our patients as being asymptomatic. They're not asymptomatic. Indians are simply tolerant. A non-union of the lateral condyle leaves a weak elbow with pain, instability, progressive deformity, and causes the ulna now to stretch when that happens. And collateral stretch will lead to further instability. This earlier paper by Jacob and Falls in 1975 said that if you operate on a lateral condyle le delayed presentation after three weeks, they said you lose range of motion on an average of 34 degrees. And there is a high chance of AVN, facial closure, and valgus deformity. But this is historic. AVN comes with poor dissection technique, extensive stripping of the lateral condyle, or if you try to go intra-articular in a non-union to try to get anatomic result or anatomic reduction, which is not really required. And you should know how the blood supply comes to the lateral condyle, which Haraldson studied and showed that it comes from a small area which is posterior to the lateral condyle. So your dissection should be essentially anterior. If you leave them alone, what is the natural history? There are two groups of patients. One which progressively deteriorate and go into valgus. Or the second group which remains static and stable, but with small re-trauma they can progress and become symptomatic. The question is, when will you call it a non-union? Are late presenters non-union? Flynn and his co-workers said if a fracture has not united by 12 weeks, it should be classified as non-union. So there is a little caveat there. Whereas Andrew Howard series said he put the cutoff as 16 weeks. So he said if 16 weeks lateral condyle has not healed, you must call it a non-union and treat it as such. That reduces or eliminates the risk of avian stiffness and infection. An example, a six-year-old boy who was put in a plaster, after 12 weeks, that is the x-ray, which shows that the gap in the fracture has actually increased and there is a slight drift. This was treated with a percutaneous in-situ in screw stabilization and it proceeded to a satisfactory healing. So what you should understand is that when you have a delayed presentation, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, and if your fragments are in good position with an open physis, don't leave it alone. It should be treated like a non-union. What you need to do is that minimal extra articular dissection. What that means is do not try to do open reduction or try to put the fragment back where it belongs. Extensive fibrosis uh, dissection and stripping causes avian. So just extra articular on the pillar do a little dissection, scrape it, stimulate biology and put an in situ stabilization screw. And that will give you good union, prevent the secondary complications and will not cause an iatrogenic avascular necrosis. This is another paper from Korea where they showed a mean age of 5.1 years and a duration of about five months of delayed or a non-union. The same philosophy, minimum curettage of the fibrous tissue and a screw fixation. 16 cases, all united, no AVN with excellent function. If there is a deformity, you can add an osteotomy at the supracondylar level. So the philosophy is in situ stabilization, extra articular dissection for delayed presentations or non-unions which are in good position and are not drifting or going into instability. If your gap is more, you can put a lateral bone graft. Again, the same philosophy, don't try to open reduce and get the intra-articular alignment. Just put a bone graft on the lateral pillar and stabilize and that does well. Japanese paper, 12-year-old non-unions. Again, the same thing, a graft on the lateral column, stabilization, six patients, extra-articular dissection and bone graft, only seven degree loss of motion. That two in three patients, rest all did well. Open reduction for delayed presentation, only when it is type three, where the fragment is lying outside, there is no way you can do in situ stabilization. So in these cases, you will need to do an open reduction. But when you dissect, enter from the fracture line proximally, dissect anteriorly towards the trochlea, no posterior dissection. Use a compression screw. If you are using a K-wire, make sure it's bi-directional. 
you can confirm articular alignment by an arthrography so that you don't end up doing intraarticular dissection too much. Even more delayed presentations, as in our country, what do they come with? A deformity which is progressive, a tardy ulnar nerve palsy, and instability which is causing pain as well as loss of function. What are the results of open reduction of these late presenters? Masada in his series said that loss of range is more than 40 if you try to open reduce and AVN rates again are very high. So we have to do situational treatment. What is situational treatment? If you have a very delayed non-union, if the range of motion is good, deformity is acceptable, no instability. The problem is palsy, just do an anterior transposition. Treat why he has come to you for, don't try to treat the non-union. Second, if your range of motion is good, your deformity is uh, unacceptable, there is no instability with a palsy because of deformity, osteotomy with or without ulnar transposition. That should be your solution. When you have instability with deformity, you have to do an osteotomy and fixation. So a bad deformity, unstable lateral pillar and a deformity which is unacceptable, a medial closing wedge osteotomy and lateral in situ pillar stabilization. And you will get a reasonably good correction and a reasonably good range of motion without AVN or any complication. So let me summarize, early non-unions or delayed presentations 12 to 16 weeks in situ or anatomic repairs if widely displaced, but how you dissect is the key. Long-standing non-unions over three months, if they are static, asymptomatic, you could observe them. If they are progressive, disabling, non-anatomic repairs as advised. In situ fixation with or without graft, if there is a gap on the lateral column. Osteotomy at a supracondylar level, if there is a deformity more than 20 degrees and Allah now transfer if there are symptoms. Thank you very much.